What's going on, everybody? I'm W. And I'm the Thick Baby. And we're going to be bringing you some video game news. We've got some great topics today. We've got a new Pokemon game coming out. Moon Studios is releasing a new game. And a Star Wars game is coming back from the dead. So let's jump right into it. All right, to start off, I got a video game based on the Paranormal Activity movies is coming in 2026. We just got the announcement. Uh, this is coming from Darkstone Digital, the makers of The Mortuary Assistant, which I have not played, but I, I can only it assume either. it's a horror game. Sounds like it would be. Yeah, uh, and this features a new haunt system in the game that changes the type of scares that the players get based on the activities they do in the game. Okay. So I think it's kind of like phasmophobia, that kind of stuff, where, yeah. although paranormal activity, so it's going to be small things moving, a door openings, some jump scares like Your that. light turns on or off. Or yeah. Else. But, I mean, the Paranormal Activity movies go pretty deep in lore to the point where it's, like, witches summoning demons to cults and all this different stuff. I and didn't know that, actually. Yeah, it, they got, like, seven movies deep at this point. Okay. Like, it's a lot. I saw the first one in theaters. Yeah, the first one basically just start, gives you, like, a ghost scare. Yeah, ghost And then it gets into, it's a demon, and then as it goes further on, it's, like, a cult summoning a demon through a portal, possession, and all this different stuff. Interesting. But it goes over a lot of movies. All right. But, yeah, I think the new Hans system sounds cool uh we'll see how far they get in in a 2026 with new ai and everything if they can make that even more interactive but That'd that sounds a cool, cool game uh but look out for that one in 2026 uh oh, next one i got is pokemon legends z to a it was just announced it's coming to the nintendo switch as far as we know uh, it's taking us back to Lumios, I believe is the name of the city. Uh, it's based off of Paris. It's from Legends of Arceus. It's oh, a city yeah. that's being made kind of thing. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Uh, so it looks like uh, the video we got was like architectural layouts with very few Pokemon, like Pikachu running through them. Yeah. So that's what everybody's hinting at. That must be Lumios. Dude, that'll be sweet. Yeah. Uh, you'll have to wait until 2025 on that. And like I said maybe coming to the Switch because the new Switch or Switch 2, whatever it's going to be, More is coming powerful. later this year, we think. So we're thinking Z to A will probably be on the new console. So do you think Z to A will be like an Arceus-style game then? I think so. I think if it's taking place in the same world, it's going to be very similar to Arceus, probably work out the small kinks that didn't work with Arceus, but keep it kind of open world, and you got to... That'll be sweet, there, yeah. because that's what it was really missing. I mean, yeah. it was missing just, like, a couple little things, some more DLCs, a little yeah. bit more free roaming, but, I mean, that is the game, the way Pokemon should be going for yeah. all their games. I I'm mean, wondering if they'll make new legendaries, or everybody online has been thinking maybe this is Zygarde is going to be the main component okay. here, but that's really just a Z to A thing, so who knows what yeah. the main legends are going to be. Uh, is it set in stone? It is definitely Z to A, though? I believe that's the title. It's okay. Pokemon Legends Z to A. Cool. All right, what you got? All right. So we have Crash Team Rumble, the 4v4 Ooh. competitive multiplayer game. Came out, I think, like seven months ago. Yeah. So not too long ago, it is getting its last update and its final update for the game, which okay. is kind of bad news in my mind for the game. I don't think it's doing too well. Um, yeah, I mean, I remember hearing about it on release, but I haven't heard much since, and I never checked out the game. It just seems like another Rumble game. Yeah, yeah it's kind of how I felt about yeah. it. But they said their servers are going to stay online, the base game experience is going to stay the same, and as a bonus, since it's going to be the last update, every player in it is going to get a 500-tier battle pass for free, as well as 104 unlockables from an event from Season 1, 2, and 3. Okay. So if you're missing anything from the past, I guess you're going to be able to unlock a whole bunch of stuff. So if you're a hardcore Crash player, that's you, you're going to... Good news for you. <laughs> Next couple weeks, you got a bunch of gameplay coming. All right. Um, yeah, we also got Moon Studios. For those of you who don't know who Moon Studios is, they created Ori in the Blind Forest, yes. Ori in the Will of the Wisps. It was two amazing games. I loved them. Yeah. Uh, they were great story-driven games. Cool yeah. concepts to them, but I believe they're two D side scroll. Yeah, they're two D yeah. side scroll platformer yeah. games. And this one is going to be their first look at an action RPG, okay. which will be pretty freaking sweet. It's titled No Rest for the Wicked, and it has an early access date of April eighteenth. 
Yeah. It's a medieval dark fantasy world where a deadly plague is ravaging an island community, transforming its citizens into monsters, combining elements of Diablo, Dark Souls, and Animal Crossing. You'll yeah, the fight Animal first. Crossing part got me. It threw me I through a loop. Like, I was like, what? <laughs> Animal Crossing? Yeah, it, okay. looks, it looks like it's going to be Diablo, hard, but with a city building element to it. Yeah, kind of and yeah. like villagers, and like I think yeah. that's where they got the whole. Animal I think the point thing. of it is like you're you're in the village that starts off tiny as like this little civilization, but you're branching out into the darkness and fighting these monsters, bringing back materials and expanding out, trying to create your own island. Should be pretty thing. cool. I'm thinking yeah. it'll be sweet. Yeah, uh, like almost like a Dead Island vibe yeah. too. I wonder why they didn't say Dead Island in it. Who knows? Eh. But the island's name is Sacrament. So that's also a little tidbit. All right. Yeah, we'll see where they go with it. Hopefully, the game ends up pretty cool. Moon Studios hasn't let me down yet. So yeah, and I mean, your early access April eighteenth on Steam, but that's just until they come out with everything fledged out until one point oh, where they'll bring it to consoles. So yeah, I pick it up on Steam and probably check it out. But yeah, we'll probably be streaming game. it if you guys tune in. No. So look for it. I'm down for anything that's like Diablo. So same. And in huge news. Embracers, the Embracer Group, that's not a very good group in terms of like video game companies. They were behind the closures of the Saints Row Studios for Volition Games. Okay. They did all the layoffs for Black Forest Games and whatnot. I don't even remember that game. And they are set to sell Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake to the developer Saber Interactive. Love it. So what this means is for a $500 million deal, Saber Interactive is buying back their company, essentially, from the Embracer Group. And as soon as it said it had, they're done with the transaction and everything's finished, they are immediately relaunching the work on Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake. So we are finally going to be getting it. I love it. Knights of the Old Republic is probably everybody's favorite OG old school game and the best Star Wars game ever made absolutely. in my mind um, just to get a remake of that I hope they don't ruin it but I mean just up just just up the graphics on it and just do the same exact same game thing. it just can still be turn graphics. based I mean yeah. I'd love it make it a little less clunky with the turn base and the speed wise with yeah. it but same just update graphics perfect game it'd be sweet uh they took <laughs> over in 2022 from asper games asper games was the one that released it originally and also did the mobile releases for knights of the old republic and knights of the old republic 2 all right so yeah it'll be sweet no official release date for it yet stay tuned we will let you know as soon as we know and i cannot wait i'm ready to for be it. playing it it's going right. to be awesome but that's all i've got for video game news Hey everybody, I'm The Thick Baby. And I'm W. And thanks for watching our video game news segment. If you haven't heard, we do have merch. If you head over to newschoolproject.us, you can pick that up for yourself. It's first come, first serve on all the sizes, so make sure you get it fast. Right now we got some sweatshirts with us animated on the back and our logo on the front. They're awesome, so pick them up. But thank you for watching, and we'll be back next Monday with another video game news segment.